I'm in high sec, and what we're going to do is we're going to mine ice until the Orca fuel bay is completely empty. Then we're going to compare what we get in ice and its value via e appraisal to what the 16,000 units of heavy water cost at the time of recording this video, which was 2,358,400. I see a lot of things when in terms of mining, especially with like the Orca or the Porpoise and like drone mining or like just using the industrial core, where people are getting a lot less yield because of like either they're missing skills or the fact that they're over they're they're overly concerned about the uh, cost of heavy water and heavy water i mean the 16,000 that, that the orca can hold had, you know, being less than 2.5 million it doesn't even matter like even if we like fill up this orca completely or we kill this entire ice belt that we're on we're going to get value right and so the purpose of this video is to actually take and quantify how much ice we can mine with that 16,000 and what it would be what it would be uh, in value and obviously we'll take the value of that ice and we'll subtract the uh, 2.3 million from it to just give you an idea so what I'm doing here is I'm in high sec this is a system at this system's uh, security rating is 0 0.7 and so what I'm gonna be doing is I basically warped to this and then I did a survey scan and I took the highest uh, valued rock I always start with the highest volume of rock and uh, I just kind of start with that so we're gonna go ahead and get this industrial core on we're gonna go and launch our single mining drone ice mining drone we're gonna go and throw it on and um, we're max skilled for everything on this our cycle is like I want to say 46 seconds so obviously if you're gonna be getting into semi AFK ice mining in high sec you realize that it is a very slow process but what I think I like about it and what I think a lot of people undervalue when it comes to having an orca alt in high sec is instead of worrying about is per hour worry about like sustainable income now especially around the time like you know this time of year and the holidays and so where you have like family over and things like that and you can't like really sit down and run through a run through a um, combat site or do anything that's really involved or maybe like you uh, can't really do most of uh, the fleets that you would normally do just because of scheduling and whatever the case may be uh, that's where I value the Orca alt and high sec really high because on days where I am busy and there are things going on in real life then you can't sit down and actually dedicate a good solid hour or two of very um, concentrated activity that's where mining comes in right especially like especially moon mining like moon mining you just get out there and just put your orca on a rock and for the most part you come and check it every like five minutes or so but what's good about ice mining moon mining and things like that is the rocks are extremely high in volume so there's a lot less to worry about obviously you're going to have people who are going to try to like bump you off rocks and and things like that but it happens right you're going to have uh, people like that all over Eve, no matter what you're doing. And I think this is extremely entry level as well. I mean, obviously, once you get into the Orca, you want to weigh your options. and You want to kind of know exactly what you can do with it. And one of the biggest benefits, as I see, is like, obviously, you can like add alts to this setup with hulks or whatever the case may be. And you can run boost and you're going to get a lot of ice and you're going to get a lot of ice really, really quick. If that's what you're worried about, if you're worried about getting an X amount of isk per hour. Sure, add alts, add hulks, you know, add those mining barges and, you know, boost them with the Orca and you're going to do great. For me, a lot of my enjoyment, and I've done those big fleets, I've done those like solo Rorkle with eight hulks, you know, dragging through null, right? The income is great, but also there's a lot of things you have to worry about. There's a lot of assets that are on the field. You have to look at everything that you're putting to at risk. And a lot of my enjoyment more recently, even with mining, is taking you know one character. And yes, the income from doing a solo orca with a drone, yeah, you're not going to get very good isk per hour. But it's something that I can go out and do very consistently, and it's something that you know it's income that I can I can count on. Which is probably one of my biggest gripes with like doing ratting in nullsec. Like I want to do those you know combat sites. I want to do those data relic sites but they're not always available which is why i have an um, alt in high sec to do these kind of things where 
And most of the time, I'll put this, what you're seeing right here, I'll put this on a separate monitor. You just kind of monitor it, no pun intended. And I'll go do something else, whether it's like, you know, researching fits or watching a movie or whatever the case may be. Or if I'm just doing something around the house, I can kind of like turn the volume up and keep tabs on it and things like that. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to record the entire process, right? Obviously, because it's going to take, I think it's going to take several hours, but I'm going to leave this running. And what we'll do is once we get near or when we actually empty that fuel bay, I will take whatever um, ice we have. We'll run it through Eve Prazel. And uh, we'll do some comparison there. So hopefully um, if you guys want to get into like ice mining or even just more high six stuff with the Orca, there's a lot of uh, is to be made as long as you're willing to put in the time, right? And like I said, it's some it's income you can count on. And that's also going to depend on what your goals are in E, right? For the most part, these uh, this alt in high sec that sits in this Orca and does moon mining or asteroid mining or ice mining, the income I get from her fuels basically anything else I want to do in the game, and I can uh, I can control the situation in high sec a lot more than you can in low sec or in null or in wormhole space or poshman or wherever the wherever you want to go and explore and don't do other things. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue burning this heavy water, getting this white glaze, and uh, we'll see where we come I come out at the end of it. All right, so we just ran out of the fuel bay. It got hundred. 100 uh, heavy water left just because the uh, cycles are like 300 for the uh, industrial core ended up with 145 units on that so we'll go ahead and look at the value so here's the value for appraisal for the raw it is 26 million so you're looking at like 24 almost 25 uh, million if you take out the heavy water if you compress it it's actually worth a little bit less 24 so about 20 22 million but the thing here is is if you actually like what I normally do with ice is I don't sell it in compressed or raw if I'm doing it in high sec. What I end up doing is I end up just selling the nitrogen isotopes because really the first trip you take out to do your ice is really the only reason you need to like calculate the heavy water. So let's go in here. Let's see. I, you get like 414 units. That'd be the perfect refine. So let's say you do, let's say your refine is going to be like 390 per unit at 145 units so you're looking at roughly 56 that number of nitrogen isotopes that's actually 33 so you end up coming out at about 30 million for just selling the isotopes and what you can then do is take all the byproducts like the heavy water the stront and uh all that and just you can take the heavy water and literally just put it right back in your orca for your next trip out but as far as passive income goes it's actually pretty decent um something i like to do in my past time Obviously, like, you know, if you go for pristine white glaze in, in null sec, you're going to do a lot better. But you have to worry about, like, getting that stuff sold locally or, you know, getting it back to Jita. But I hope you guys enjoy this little experiment. Um, so, really, like, if you sell raw, then you're looking at, like, 25 mil. If you sell compressed, you're looking at, like, 22 mil. If you sell just the um, isotopes, you're looking at about um, 31 mil. So, then that, if you sell the isotopes, then you can just use heavy water on your next trips out. And obviously you can add alts to this to make it even better or more orcas, uh, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing in the future is just having more, maybe like another orca alt and just have two out here at the same time and uh, just kind of chill like that. So thank you for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.